Award season is coming to an end, and as always, we finish things off with Hollywood's biggest night, the Academy Awards. Oh my gosh, I love the Oscars. The Oscars is the red carpet. It's the place to make a fashion statement. And there are so many looks that we've seen there that are completely iconic. The looks we will see there will become iconic. Yes. So because of that, this is the time that we like to play stylist and imagine what this year's nominees could wear to the Oscars. And with that, we're gonna kick it off with Saoirse Ronan, who's nominated for Little Women. She has been killing it in everything she's worn so far this award season. Yes. I'm super excited to see what she's gonna wear. I haven't seen Little Women. I know. And I'm really upset about that, so it's on my list. I'm gonna watch it this weekend before the awards. We forgive you. Um, because it's time. Though. I love the 90s version. Yes, me too. And I know I will love this version. All right, so can we see? Yes, let's do it. Okay, you guys, we're gonna show you our fun little fantasy paper dolls of what she is wearing and what she should be wearing. Oh, oh have we seen so her? So beautiful. In like a, a turquoise kind of number like this? I don't think so. Before? I don't think so. I love the fringe. This is Armani Privé, by the way. We have pulled all of these looks straight from the Ocature runways that just wrapped up in Paris. I would love to see her in something like this, but she's been killing it, literally. Yeah. Every and carpet she does. Honestly, she's had a lot of drop waist. Like, she hasn't had anything very curve heavy. Right, like really, sh like really shapeless. Yeah, but very shapeless. Very so shape. I love this. I think this would be so beautiful. It has a little shimmer, so maybe we can have her I hair it. up. Maybe like right? a pop of color on the eye. Adair Abergel does her Ooh. hair. Maybe he'll do something really cool Ooh, with we it. To, oh, we need to put a little bug in mm -hmm. the field for sure. All right, next up, Renee Zellweger. Most likely the front runner to win for Best Actress this year for her turn in Judy. She also has a very distinct red carpet style. She's been wearing so many tailored pieces, like very, very fresh faced hair and makeup, yeah. almost hardly anything. Hardly, like hardly, hardly anything, anything, honestly, yeah. No jewelry. So gorgeous. We kind of know what to expect from her, and because of that, it's really fun to mix it up and <laughs> pretend that we can put her in what we like. So let's take a peek at what we think Renee Zellweger might wear. I don't know if you guys have seen Judy, but she's so phenomenal. Oh my God. Oh. This is uh, this, this is, is Shivanshi. This. <laughs> this is Shivanshi, and I was so obsessed with this runway this show. Perfect. Because um, this Shivanshi is what Meghan Markle wore for her wedding. So yeah. same designer here, and it's a lot of really beautiful black and white pieces that are sort of a play on suiting, mm -hmm. but they're gowns. And, and I love she loves this the gigantic suit. belt. Yes. This cool lapel situation. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this whole white part that's exposed is all beaded. Oh. It's so. Beautiful. I would, that would be love to see her in some of this. Gorgeous. Okay, let's take a look at Charlize next, who yes. has been slaying every carpet. Every carpet. This look was this look was the only one, the Globes look, the green one, that I was on the fence about. Really? A little bit. But I, the, gosh, that's I this two-piece situation. She she's just so stunning. She's like a Barbie doll. She's yeah, like a six right? foot tall Barbie doll. You could put anything on her and she's gorgeous. She was I insane love Bombshell. And Bombshell. Did you oh see my Bombshell? God. No, I've seen all the clips. <laughs> and she sounds just and she like sounds her. And looks and just looks. like Megan Kelly. It's, it's insane. crazy. Oh my God. It's a yeah, bombshell. Speaking of bombshell, <laughs> let's take a look at the bombshell that would be Shirley's there. And if she wore, would we put her in? Oh my God. Oh, what? this is Zuhair Murad. Like queen couture status. I love this. Modern I love queen. it because it's a combination of a lot of the things we've seen her in. Yeah. She always. Not always, but she usually wears something that's pretty body hugging that skims her silhouette. I love the deep V. It has a cape. Yeah. It's completely beaded. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I'm really into this. If we got any of these right, I would die, by the way. And you'll never hear the end of it. We we'll just be talking about it over last time. And over. Yeah, right. I know. All right, next we've got Margot Robbie. Yes. Margot Robbie wears Chanel quite frequently on the carpet. She is an ambassador for Chanel. So we we kind of have an idea of what she might wear. Um, she also does this fresh-faced glam, kind of loose hair yes. uh, over and over again, which I'm not mad at. She's so stunning. Patty Dubrow does her makeup, and it's always so beautiful. She actually wore, um, I think we'll talk about this later in the show. I'm getting ahead of myself. But she wore glitter recently on a carpet, and I was dying for it. It was so good. Right? Um, it's nice. It's so nice when people change it up. Yes. We need a little bit, you know, a little crazy. Nominated for Bombshell. She was fantastic. I would love to see her win the Oscar for this role. Um, but maybe she'll just win Best Dress in our eyes if she wears what we put her in. Let's check it out. <laughs> Look at those puppy sleeves. Oh, yes, yes, sleeves. yes. She needs a statement like this. I, this is the thing. I usually don't like black on a red carpet because it's a red carpet, like let's 
let's amp it up a bit. Yeah. But this is a statement black. Um, this is Scaparelli Couture. Obsessed with this. Yes. Someone please wear it. And she's nominated for Best Supporting Actress, yes. right? So this is just so beautiful. Okay. Scarlett Johansson. Yes, double nominee. She has looked so insanely beautiful. Look on at her. Every carpet, that skin is perfection. She really the deep has. Plunge. Even with the tattoo showing, it doesn't look tacky ever. It looks so sophisticated and just, it's her. Like she can be any style, right? That's like, true. I love this a, elegant turn that she's been doing this season. Yes. I feel like every stylist kind of has a through line of what they want their clients to look like during award season. Mm -hmm. And with her, it's Glamazon and and chic. So chic. So beautiful. Fresh. So yeah. nominated for two films. Let's take a look at what she would wear to accept maybe two Oscars. Yes. If she decided to wear what we put her in. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Ely Saab. So much. This she is loves Ely Saab. Saab as well. And I love this silhouette because it's that pinched waist. It's mm -hmm. a statement sleeve, which I'm obviously obsessed with. Little and belts. Good, right? And you're gonna see the leg. So good. And she's if she does win, for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress. That would be two. She would get both categories. That's and insane. that would be so amazing. Like, I'm really, really pulling for her here. Okay, next up, we've got Cynthia Erivo. Cynthia Erivo is just such a risk taker. She's so fearless with what she wears. Her stylist, Jason Bolden, really like never holds back with her. Mm -hmm. And she owns looks that on other people, the look would own them. Yeah. But she really wears clothes beautifully. I mean, look at her posing. Gosh. And maybe it's her hair too, like because she has such a cropped hair look that it, like she she's can able let the gown to have the gown have its full That's moment. A very you know? good point. That Definitely. is a very good point. Nominated for Harriet. Let's take a look at what we envision her in. Our possible EGOT winner. Right? Oh, oh yeah. This is so beautiful. This is Dior. Love it. And you know what? This is the thing. Like, she likes to go over the top, but this is the Oscars, so you still want you want to be over the top, but you want to be appropriate for the yes. event. And I think a cape, a cape a like cape this is a perfect. This is the right amount of, of over the top. I actually, for the love Academy the sandal Award. as well. Like the is in our morph. It's so cool. Kind of low key. <laughs> Ooh, also Billie Eilish will be there. Yes. Her first Oscars, her first Grammys this year, her first Oscars. She's had a humongous year. She's gonna be performing at the Oscars. And we all know that Billie has a really standout style um, that's very much her own. And there's never been anybody else like her, but it's the Oscars. I know. So she's gotta pull out all the stops here, right? She can't wear a puffer to the Oscars. No. You gotta be in, you know, I know she loves her Gucci, but we're gonna try something different for this morph. Let's take a look. If we could dress her in Dolce and Gabbana, yeah. There we go. This is so good. It's just enough. She would have to dye the roots as well. She should dye the roots to match the, the look. look. Suit look. Wow. And this is actually a menswear look from Dolce & Gabbana, which I think is so cool. But it's like, it's covered like she likes to be, but you know, it's tailored. Has anyone worn shorts suit. to the Oscars? It's gonna be Could big. be her. <laughs>